Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today I'm here with Steve Stearns from Thrive Financial and we're going to talk about creative ways to lower your interest rate. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm here with Steve Stearns from Thrive Financial. Welcome. Hi, Melinda. And we're going to be talking about some creative ways in which to lower your interest rate. In today's higher interest rate environment, now it's still historically a relatively low interest rate, but it's definitely come up from where we've been the last couple of years. We got spoiled, right? Certainly has, yeah. <laughs> so um, Steve has some really great creative ways in which you can lower your interest rate, and we're going to talk about that today. Perfect. So I'll let you take it away. All right. Well, I'm going to jump right in with a suggestion that we can ask the seller to pay for, and these are called temporary buy-downs. So effectively, you're going to get the 30-year fixed rate loan that you want, but we're going to have the seller contribute up front to buy down your rate by 2% the first year, 1% the second year, and then years 3 through 30, your payment will increase to the, to the, to the amount that it would be. And then there's a good likelihood that we'll see lower interest rates happen over the next three to four years. And at that point, these loans have no prepayment penalty. You'll simply turn around, even if you're only in the second year of this mortgage, and refinance at a lower rate that's available. Which is a great option if somebody's also getting a raise in the next couple of years and just needs to get used to that mortgage payment too. Yeah, it's a good idea for like salespeople who are new to a job and they're building they're building up their clientele and their commissions are going up, or they've just become a doctor and they're they're going to be you know getting raises and promotions and that type of thing. That's great. What's our next option? So the next option would be rather than take a 30-year fixed, and this wouldn't require the seller contributing anything, we look at what are called hybrid arms. So an arm is an adjustable rate mortgage. A hybrid means there's a fixed period at the start. It either be five, seven, or 10 years fixed. Then it turns into an adjustable. Now, some people might be frightened that they're getting an adjustable rate mortgage, but chances are we'll see lower rate with the rates within the first five years. So before that five, seven, or 10 years of it turning into an adjustable, they would actually refinance out of that mortgage and they would save money with a lower rate than a 30-year fixed. Which would be great and save money over the long run for sure. Save money over the long run because initially they'll have a lower interest rate and then when they refinance, when rates drop, they'll have a lower rate then as well. Great, great. What are some other options? So another option would be an interest-only hybrid arm. So what that means is most mortgages were paying some money toward the principal to pay down the loan and we're paying interest. If a client has a 25% down payment, they can look at getting into an interest-only loan fixed for five, seven, or 10 years, which means if you borrow $500,000, at the end of the five, seven, or 10 years, you're still gonna owe 500,000, but your payment's gonna be much lower, and the strategy there would be when rates drop, refinance into a fully amortized loan and start paying the balance down then. And they can always make additional payments to uh, that full principal in amount as well, correct? Yeah, all the products that I'll talk about today have no prepayment penalty, which will allow you to make additional principal payments anytime you like. Perfect, perfect. Another one that, that people are suggesting a lot of times is what's called a permanent buy-down. In other words, it'd be points to get a lower interest rate. So, so let's say the going rate is 6.5%. Maybe you could pay a point to get to 6.25%. You could pay it yourself or the seller could pay it. Doesn't lower your payment a lot though. For about on an eight hundred thousand dollar loan, if you're if the seller pays an eight thousand dollar credit to you for one point, your payment will drop a quarter of a percent or about one hundred and twenty seven dollars monthly. Another suggestion I have for people is instead have the seller pay eight thousand dollars worth of your closing cost. You'll have the hundred and twenty seven dollar a month higher payment, but you've got eight thousand dollars in the month that you can use in the bank that you can use to supplement your payments until rates drop and then you refinance again. Which ultimately that would pay for your refinance potentially as well. Well, and typically we're doing no costs, so no points and no fees refinance. So you could do a free refinance and just use that to supplement your payment as well. Which that's great. That's great. Are there any other options that people have? Well, if folks have a lot of disposable income, one of the best ideas out there is take a 15-year fixed rate mortgage rather than a 30-year fixed. You'll typically save about a half a percent on your interest rate, which is quite a bit. However, you will have a higher monthly payment. So this is for folks that aren't really struggling but want to get a lower interest rate. And you can pay it off in half the time. You can pay it off in half the time, or if you want to add to the principal, you pay it off even quicker. Which is fantastic. Yep. And what about, uh, I've heard about the bi-monthly mortgage payments. What are your experiences with those? So a bi-monthly payment, so making 26 payments per year, so basically splitting your 12-month payment in half and then making 26 per year, will pay off the loan more quickly, typically a 30-year loan in about 24 to 25 years. So the interest rate isn't any lower. Your, pay, your effective payments aren't lower, but you'll pay it off so much quicker, you'll save a whole lot of money over the life of the loan. 
So it's more of a long-term picture for somebody who wants to pay less interest over the long term. Exactly. This is the long-term strategy of being willing to be, be willing to make that payment, two extra payments basically per year by making the 26 payments, but paying a lot less over the life of the loan. Great. Well, if you have any questions, where would people reach out to you? People can call me in the office at 714-632-3223. And I'm Steve Stearns with Thrive Financial. And can they email you as well? Yeah, and you can email me at steve at thrive, that's T-H-R-I-V-E, loans.com. And if you have any questions about this, if any of these might be the best option for you, feel free to reach out to me at 562-316-2915 or email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. And please feel free to forward and share this with your friends. Thanks so much for watching.